and force him to eat, throw something, push something in his uh, mouth, and the food goes into his stomach. So the food has gone into the stomach unintentionally. So no kafara for him. He should continue fasting, according to some jurists. So those things which are beyond one's power, man is not responsible for them. Vomiting or uh, compensatory, need of compensatory bath or any such thing, they do not spoil one's fast. They do not break the fast. In the same way, somebody forgets. And out of, mere, out of mere forgetfulness, he eats something, he drinks something, he does something which breaks the fast. Maybe even some sexual act. That will not break his fast. Here I read a tradition. An Abi Huraira, radiallahu an, an in Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, qal, Iza nasiya fa akala wa shariba, فَلْيُتِمْنَ صَوْمَهُ فَإِنَّمَا أَتْعَمَهُ اللَّهُ وَسَقَاهُ Narrated Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him. The Prophet peace be upon him said, If somebody eats or drinks forgetfully, then he should complete his fast, for what he has eaten and drunk has been given to him by Allah. Now all this forgetfulness, because Allah knows that he is forgetting. Allah the Almighty doesn't remind him. That means that he has been fed and he has been made to drink by Allah the Almighty. So Allah the Almighty has played a host for him during fasting. So he should not worry, he should continue fasting. Then there is another misunderstanding among the people. They do, do not clean their teeth while fasting. This is wrong. I read a tradition. And Amr ibn Rabi'ah qal, Raitu al-Nabiya sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, yastaku wa huwa sa'im, ma la uhsi aw a'ud. Wa qala Abu Huray 